Hi. Israel's redemption, or I should say a part of Israel's redemption. It's a big story. There's a lot of events happening or going to happen. We're seeing some of it begin, aren't we, in our day? Right. I'm reading to you from Revelation 18. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, lest you share in her sins, and lest you receive of her plagues. For her sins have reached to heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Render to her just as she rendered to you, and repay her double according to her works. In the cup which she has mixed, mix double for her. Israel is going to receive a double portion of judgment. And the Lord is saying here to them, come out of her. Get away from that Antichrist that's rising up in there and saying, worship me, worship my, my image, uh, or worship the image of the beast that is set up there. I'm reading to you now from Isaiah 40. She has received from the Lord's hand a double for all her sins. But then it says, comfort, yes, comfort my people. The Lord is saying, I have to punish them for their sins. They have chosen other gods. But now, after the double punishment, he's saying to them, comfort them now. It's time, it will be time to comfort them after that. Says, the Lord, uh, says your God, speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her, what? That her warfare has ended. It hasn't ended yet. It won't end till after the time when she falls because of the actions that are allowed to be taken place in the temple in Jerusalem. Yet to come. For she has received from the Lord double portion. And then he goes on and says, Instead of your shame, Jerusalem, you shall have double honor. First double portions, mixed double sin. Not mixed double sin. Her sin is double. But her punishment was doubled. Yes, Israel. And now he's saying, you shall have double honor. Remember the kindness and the love of the Lord, his long suffering? Instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double Everlasting joy shall be theirs. Wow. That's just a portion of what's coming. And here's some excerpts from uh, Isaiah 52. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news. Who's bringing good news? This is the second coming of Yeshua. How beautiful on the mountains will be his coming. We'll be with him, too. We who've loved him. Ha. Who proclaims salvation? Who says to Zion, your God reigns? <laughs> he has redeemed Jerusalem, or he will redeem Jerusalem. When he puts his feet down on earth again. And then the warning, Isaiah is telling him that's what's going to happen. Uh, the Messiah is going to come and give you back double honor. You've already received, you'll be receiving your double portion of, of, for your sins. And now you will be receiving double honor. So Isaiah is telling them. Then he goes back to just what Revelation said. Depart, depart. Go out from there. Touch no unclean thing. What's an unclean thing? Worship. 
of false gods. Any worship of our God or mixing worship of more than one God. Depart, depart, go out. For the Lord will go before you. And God of Israel will be your rear guard just as he led them out of Egypt. He went before them and went behind them. He will as they flee to the wilderness for safekeeping. Um, he's coming back, but there's much to be done. Israel was a chosen hand of God. They are the ones that all the amazing prophecy came through, all the marvelous miracles. Yes, there have been things done in the New Testament times. But through the house of Israel, he has blessed them abundantly. Then they sin doubly, and then he must punish them doubly, and then he's going to honor them doubly. A little piece of Israel's redemption, soon to come in our day.